All right, so as you guys know, our first telescope was a fast F3.9 Newtonian telescope, which we gave away to a friend. And since then, she's making awesome images, as you can see here. And, you know, uh, we've been using refractors since that day, and we're kind of waiting until, you know, a bit longer until we get back into the uh, reflector game. So in the meantime, we've been trying to find an awesome, wide, compact uh, telescope with also a fast speed. So here in this box, I think we finally found what we are looking for in the long term. So I'm going to be unboxing this really quick. It came in a nice box with like, I think it was double layered, so very safe. And uh, I cannot wait to open this. And the, the main uh, aspect of this telescope is it is f5.6, but it, uh, with a reducer, it's going to be f3.9, which is awesome. So let's get to it and see why we bought this telescope and how it looks like inside. All right, so let's see what's in this case. And let's see. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so here we have the telescope. Uh, as you can see, there is a handle here, which is great. I love this handle. And then there is a zip bag with inside a screw, which I'm guessing is for the focuser, as well as a, um, whatever this is called, Allen key. And let's see what's inside really quick, so it's out of the way. We have the inspection checklist, so everything was checked before shipping, which is good to know. <laughs> Some instructions about the screws provided. Here we have so the screw for the bottom of the focuser, as well as this here, which I already mentioned. And we also have inside a QR code with some more information about the other telescopes, as well as some papers, as a manual certification paper, some cool stickers and warranty information. All right, now that the uh, boring stuff is out of the way, let's get to business. So here we have um, one, two, three, four compartments. So this one here, I asked uh, Ascar if they could send me uh, this filter so I can try it out. Uh, I was really intrigued about this filter and I want to kind of compare it with some other filters. So this is uh, Ascar's six nanometer uh, two inch dual narrowband filter. And so it's going to be HA in O3 uh, wavelength. And I cannot wait to try this tonight and see what we can produce with this filter. You can also add this here, which is an F3.9 reducer. So it's going to turn the telescope from an F5.6 to an F3.9, which I'm very, very uh, excited about. Here we have some adapters. One is for the reducer, and here we have the cone adapter, which is made up of a few different adapters, which is very really smart, I think, like M54, M, uh, you know, M68, uh, I think, and a couple of other ones. So I think it's really great to have that. So you can attach whatever you want, um, depending on what you have. And lastly, let's look at the telescope here. So I'm going to grab it with the handle, First impression, uh, it's not very heavy. It has some weight, but it's not too bad. Uh, so it's still a good, compact and portable telescope, which is exactly what I wanted. All right. All right, be gone, plastic bag. And here is what the telescope looks like without the rings attached. Really cool. And if we extend the tube, that's how it looks like. I like the color, white, red, and black, pretty cool. All right, let's put the rings back on it. <gasps> Just kidding. The first thing you have to do is, if you have the same telescope, is to remove this part here, which is for visuals. As you can see here, there is a, a compression adapter where you put an eyepiece or whatever you want, but we don't need that. So uh, for imaging, we have to remove this first. We have to make sure we attach the reducer, which will bring the telescope from f5.6 to f3.9, which is the most exciting part of this telescope, in my opinion. So I'm going to try to figure out how to attach this the best way possible, and then I'll get back to you. This is a conical extender for FI 500. It's actually a... Okay, so the way you attach this is you have to first attach this adapter ring, 
which comes with it. And then uh, you just simply uh, stick the reducer in there. But first, uh, before we do that, I want to attach my filter here. So for this, we can take the reducer apart and then um, you can easily attach a filter in this top part over here. So let me show you guys really quick. I will grab the filter and try to place it in there. It's always difficult when you have not tiny hands, but while being careful not to touch it with your greasy, fatty fingers. Okay, now we have the filter attached in here, so I simply have to put it back on the uh, reducer here. Just like that. We just stick it inside like this and then screw it in. And now you are ready to stick your camera on it. So with the reducer, something very important, you have to have 55 mm of back focus. So even though the telescope itself is a pet's vol, which means you don't have to worry about back focus at all, uh, if you do add the reducer, you have to make sure you have enough back focus. Okay, and I think we're ready. Okay, and I think this is still within the good uh, weight capacity of this mount, so it's perfect. And then if we do this, beautiful. And now all we are missing is the guide camera here. And then that's pretty much it, so awesome. All right, so I'm really happy uh, seeing this telescope here. It's so pretty, I love it. Uh, including the handle, including everything else. I'm planning to probably put a, a focuser here. Um, and then, of course, the guide cam has to go over here. But I cannot wait to use this, hopefully tonight. Um, so this was a, a quick video. We'll do a full uh, review video for sure on this telescope and show you guys uh, a bunch of images that we took with it. And hopefully this will be in the Galactic Hunter house for a long time. And the only other refractor telescope I can think of that does f3.9, I think, is the Takahashi uh, FSQ106. And this is much more expensive. It's like, I think, $7,000 plus, plus the reducer, which I think is like a thousand bucks by itself. So this is much more affordable and uh, as, almost as fast. So uh, I think it's a, a really, really great uh, scope. So we'll see the first light with it very soon. We'll see you guys next time and class guys. And here comes the first light, 15 hours on the Pac-Man Nebula. Followed by some lunar imaging.